Even in the age of streaming, some films just deserve the big screen treatment. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies you need to watch in the theater. Find a tight corner. I will roger that. For this list, we're looking at movies that are best viewed on a towering screen in a large auditorium, preferably with a big crowd. This might be because they have amazing effects, gorgeous cinematography, or an atmosphere primarily suited for big screens. Number 10, Saving Private Ryan. War is hell, and there are few better cinematic examples of that than this masterpiece from Steven Spielberg. The majesty and horror of this World War II film is best expressed in its prolonged opening sequence, an intense recreation of the invasion of Omaha Beach on D-Day, which many veterans call the most realistic war sequence ever portrayed in a film. What's the rallying point? Anywhere but here! What follows is no less extraordinary. Following Tom Hanks and company's harrowing mission to rescue one soldier from war-torn Europe, an experience well worth the almost three hours you'll be sitting in the theater. Why? Why, me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. Number nine, Avatar. Everything is backwards now. Like out there is the true world. And in here is the dream. Chances are many of you saw Avatar in theaters, considering it's one of the highest grossing films of all time. And it's a good thing you did, since James Cameron's sci-fi epic is an absolutely unforgettable experience. Oh, shut up and fly straight! The world of Pandora, with its exotic animals, floating islands, and of course the Navi, truly come to life on the big screen, and are made even more immersive with the groundbreaking 3D that would be impossible to recreate on even the best TVs. Give it up, Quarch! It's all over. Nothing's over while I'm breathing. I kind of hoped you'd say that. While Cameron is no stranger to lavish epics, even Titanic can't hold a candle to the spectacle and wonder of watching Avatar in the theater. I see you. I see you. Number eight, gravity. You gotta admit one thing, can't beat the view. Another mind-blowing 3D space epic, Gravity won filmmaker Alfonso Cuaron a well-deserved Academy Award for Best Director. You're the genius up here, I only drive the bus. It's not hard to see why when you watch it, as the unbelievable effects allow you to feel the same terror and isolation that Dr. Ryan Stone feels when she's stranded in the vacuum of space after an accident. Will you say a prayer for me? <laughs> or is it too late? <laughs> I mean, I'd say one for myself, but I've never prayed in my life, so... <laughs> Nobody ever taught me how. In fact, we don't even know how you'd watch this on a small screen. This is the kind of film that movie theaters and 3D exist for, giving you a once-in-a-lifetime feeling of drifting through an endless abyss. Not rocket science. <sighs> Number seven, Interstellar. We're coming, we're coming. Here is yet another mind-blowing space epic. Hey, don't blame us. These things are just made for cinemas. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. This piece of hard sci-fi from Christopher Nolan is a huge film, from the performances to the special effects to the concept itself. Love is the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. Interstellar is best suited for viewing on a large screen, as it was shot on 70mm IMAX film. The story about astronauts sent to save mankind by making use of wormholes may be perplexing at times, but it will undeniably leave you exhilarated with its impeccable outer space effects and epic landscapes. Where's the rest? Where's the mountains? Besides, who doesn't want to see big screen close-ups of Matthew McConaughey in a spacesuit? Oh, he takes 
Let's control that ship, we're dead. Number six, Mad Max Fury Road. How does it feel? It hurts. Out here, everything hurts. If you'd told us that a feature-length car chase would be one of the greatest cinematic experiences of our lifetime, we probably would have hooked you to the front of our car and driven through a sandstorm. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die historic on the Fury Road. But George Miller's action masterpiece was that and more. And it demanded to be watched in a theater with its vibrant colors, wild cinematography, and emphasis on expertly executed practical effects the likes of which are rarely seen or perfected. You'd done this before? Many times. After taking a drive with Max and Furiosa on the Fury Road, all other action movies just look, well, you say it, Joe. Mediocre. Number five, Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. I don't believe it. Max, it's why you fail. How do you top the most popular film of all time? make everything bigger and better. It's not true. That's impossible. The second installment of George Lucas's space opera ups the ante in every way, especially in the set piece department, ensuring that you need to watch this one in a theater. You can't make the jug of ice cream this asteroid field. Oh. Adam, sweetheart, we're taking off. Watching Luke, Han, and Leia's second adventure on the big screen lets you properly soak in all the atmosphere Empire has to offer. From the Battle of Hoth, to training in the foggy swamps of Dagobah, to the carbon freezing chamber. You hear me? Huh? Hey. You'd have to be a nerf herder to not watch this one on the big screen. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Number four, Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. There's still no better way to watch the film that revolutionized special effects and caused a new dinosaur craze than on a screen the size of a T-Rex. Come on, girl. Come on up here, girl. Come on. Another entry from the visual wizard that is Steven Spielberg. This science gone wrong parable combines animatronics and CGI to recreate the largest creatures to ever walk the earth to terrifying effect. <laughs> that combined with the one-of-a-kind tropical atmosphere of Isla Nublar that only Spielberg could create, makes this a walk in the park you'd be more than willing to see in theaters. Hold on to your butts. Number three, The Revenant. Get to the boat! To the boat, sir! Boat! Gorgeous American frontier landscapes, breathtaking cinematography, and a two and a half hour runtime? Better bring some popcorn for this one. Alejandro G. Iñárritu's epic tale of revenge is every bit as mesmerizing and visually sublime as it is brutal and uncompromising. <laughs> Hugh Glass's journey is best viewed on a 50-foot screen, so viewers can take in every last bit of cinematic splendor and each disturbing physical ailment, making them feel as though they're going through Glass's battle with the elements too. Come on. It's the film that won Leonardo DiCaprio his Oscar. You owe it to him to see this one the way it was meant to be viewed. Captain, three men can't hold off a party of re, much less some boys. Besides, $70 ain't gonna buy nobody who said he is. Number two, Lawrence of Arabia. I pray that I may never see the desert again. Speaking of epics, who's up for a nearly four hour trek through the desert? Tapas! The life of T.E. Lawrence, played by Peter O'Toole, is so massive that watching it on a small screen should be considered a crime. What is your name? My name is for my friends. Taking home the Best Picture Academy Award in 1963, this film depicts epic battle scenes, larger-than-life themes and characters, and an atmosphere that's best projected onto a huge movie screen. What is it, Major Lawrence, that attracts you personally to the desert? It's clean. It's one of cinema's ultimate epics, and proof that looking at sand for hours on end is actually much more fascinating than it sounds. No, Dryden. It's going to be fun. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Did 
Just slip on a banana peel, the world's at your feet. Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. Make, make them laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? Drop you without gravity. Take the rings. A, A new, new life, life awaits you in the off-world colony. The, the chance to begin, begin again, again in a golden, golden land, land of opportunity, opportunity and adventure. Number 1, 2001, A Space Odyssey. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. Sometimes a theater is necessary. Sometimes you need a huge screen to take in every visual cue. Sometimes you need a massive auditorium to fully absorb the scope of what a film is trying to accomplish. Stanley Kubrick's magnum opus fits all those criteria. Well, I must say, you guys will certainly come up with something. <laughs> Its revolutionary special effects are reason enough to see it in a theater. But 2001 has a lot more on its mind than visual wonder. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is a film that will wow you, confuse you, exhilarate you, and scare you. But more than anything else, it will entertain you. If you watch it at home, you're missing out. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Frank. Happy birthday to you. Do you agree with our list? What movies do you think are best meant for the theater? There are stories about what happened. For more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Don't you get it yet, Tars? They're not beings, they're us.